welcome back to the V Experience. If you're new here, my name is Veronica, but you can call me V or Ronnie, whichever you prefer. I make hair, food, and lifestyle videos. So hopefully that you subscribe and you are on this experience with me. So today, I am gonna be going over a skincare line called Glass Wing Organic. Um, however, before I get jump right into that, I just want to give a big shout out to all of my subscribers, any and everyone who supported me from the beginning. Um, I did finally reach my 100 subscriber goal back in January. So super exciting. Um, I've been wanting to give a thank you and do a video. Um, however, the video that I want to do, there's a certain way I how I would like it. So it's going to just take some time until it gets into works. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that um, I thank each and one of you. I'm super excited to be going over this brand. Um, yeah, so this brand is a small owned and black owned business by Jennifer. However, I'm not sure what her last name is. Um, just on Etsy, it just says Jennifer. Um, but she's based in Houston, Texas. I will have her link in the description below. So if you want to check out the items, I will make sure I have that. This is not a sponsored video. Everything um, that I speak about, um, everything that I purchased that came out of my pockets and these are my own thoughts and feelings about this line overall. Before I get into what I purchased, I just wanna talk about the whole shipping part. I would have to say it was top notch. I literally got within a week. So I ordered it on January 19th, which was a Wednesday. It dispatched on January 24th, what was a Monday. And I had received it four days after that on January 28th, which was a Friday. But yeah, within a week, I think it's phenomenal. All right, one of the purchases uh, that I made was the African Black Soap that was imported from Ghana, Africa. And it was a four ounce bar, a nice big four ounce bar. It was probably about like that thick, that long. Like it was a nice chunk bar and that came out to $7.77, um, which I think is a pretty great price for it. Just thinking going into the stores and trying to actually find like a pure 100% black bar or soap. Um, usually those are not really 100%. They're kind of like mixed with other stuff. Um, and they're like for a fraction, but they're probably like $5 for like almost like a two ounce bar or something like that. So anyways, the price I think was, was spot on. It was well worth it. And I will have to say it's a high quality bar. It took me a month to actually start seeing results. I know usually when, especially you're introducing like new uh, skin pro skincare products, you're supposed to like at least give yourself like three months to see like um, if any changes have been made. Um, but at least going into a month, I could start seeing some changes, I can say that. After I washed my face with it, I would say it felt really squeaky clean, like sometimes a little bit too squeaky. Like it didn't feel like my face was dry, but it, it kind of felt like it was tight afterwards. Kind of hard to kind of describe it, but that's just at least my experience from using the bar. And I would say a little goes along the way. Um, however, I did end up turning it into a liquid form and diluted it a little bit because I wasn't the only one using it. And a family member who was using it, like she was starting to kind of get irritated like around like this part of her face. But anyways, when I had liquefied it, um, I added some olive vera, like fresh olive vera gel. I think I put a jojoba or almond oil in it and tea tree oil, I'm not sure. But anyways, I ended up making my own like cleanser out of it. Um, and I got about 30, 36 ounces worth of it because I had two 16 ounce jars and then I had a 14 ounce bottle that I purchased. Anyways, you get a nice amount overall for a good price. Let's talk about the other item that I got, which was the 24 karat gold serum. Um, this serum is definitely high quality. And I can see why they called it 24 karat gold. And yes, it actually has gold in it. Like I felt luxurious after, like I felt like 
say if you went to like a spa or you went to get a facial, like that's probably something that they use. Um, but yeah, I'll just say phenomenal. Um, I have noticed um, that when I use it, it feels nice and glowy after it. And yeah, even like when I wake up, like it's still like nice and moisturized. It's not too oil, it's just right. I haven't got any breakouts or anything from it or any kind of reaction. So I'm gonna continue to use it um, just cause I like the way that, you know, my face looks um, and feels actually afterwards um, with adding this on. The only downfall that I have, it is a little bit pricey. Um, it came to $33.33. And .33. Uh, so I guess it is kind of be kind of pricey if you think about it. Like if you went into like in the store, it's probably going to be around that price anyways. That includes the tax. It does come in a bag like this or in the, yeah, pretty much this bag and it's a nice size. So I just kind of want to show you. Again, I've been using this, what, for like a month, and I use it a few times out the week. So that's not bad. And this is kind of what it's, it's looking like. So, yeah. And it smells, it smells pleasant. It looks like a floral and like woody uh, kind of scent. So, yeah. Um, I definitely would purchase that again. However, it's going to be a while for me to purchase it because it is a nice amount so in a way you kind of are getting your money worth now let's talk to the third item that i received which was the bare face moisturizer so this came in a two ounce bottle or not a two ounce bottle but a two a two ounce um jar and at first i'm just thinking like oh like i don't know if this is going to be enough um, but again, a little goes along the way. Shea butter, which is like the number main thing, which I was concerned for my face because I felt like it was probably gonna break it out and may just be too much for me. So what I was trying to explain was that I felt nervous on using this moisturizer because it had shea, shea butter as the number one ingredient and also coconut oil, which was the third ingredient. And I felt that it may be too heavy for my face just because I'm used to using more of a water-based product and I was wrong my face actually enjoyed it after a couple uses and it was the light airy and it left me with a glowing face and now let's talk about the very last one this one may be a little bit lengthy because I did kind of have to go into research mode um, so it's the black sea oil so, with the black sea oil, this also came into a four ounce um, glass bottle. So let me just take that out real quick. Let's see. Yeah. I don't know if you can really see. So I begin to ramble on again, so I'm gonna have to clarify it a little bit. Uh, but I was mentioning was I felt that I may have been using it wrong, just because when I went back on the site, it seemed like it was suggesting to use it like as a hot oil treatment, um, or more like a, a steam like treatment to where you could lather the oil on your face and then you get like a warm to hot kind of uh, towel, put it on your face, leave it on 20 minutes and then remove the oil. Or you can have it like as a mask, put it on five to 10 minutes without the, you know, like using the steamer or the towel and then wash it off. Uh, my total came to $68.86, which included um, tax, which was about $5.54. But yeah, so that was the review for the Glass Wings Organic. Um, I hope I didn't talk too fast. And hopefully that you give it, you know, at some point you're able to give it a try and try out some of the products. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely do an update probably in a few months. Um, I'll probably give it like another month because technically it's going on to two, the, the second month. Um, so probably like April, May, I'll probably do like a three month update or something like that. Um, as well in like the skincare routine that I have adopted over time, but just, you know, include these in. Uh, so yeah, so that pretty much sums it up. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. So that way, you know, YouTube can kind of like push it out to other people and they can find me and you know, if they want to know what this 
whole companies about if they did come across it, like if it's kind of worth it or not. At the end, I do feel like it was worth it. Nice quality items. I'm supporting um, a small owned, black owned, woman owned business on top of that. So, which is super exciting. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.